Hi guys, Colin here from computerclasses.ie and applecourses.ie. So guys, one of the things I get asked constantly is about how restricted iMovie is when it comes to text. So if you want to put text in, you are restricted to using the styles and the templates that iMovie has. So we're going to have a look today about how you can maybe use a wee walkaround to do things like that. Remember, if this is the first time watching one of the videos, do hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified then of any new videos that come up. Okay, so in today's lecture, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Canva. So Canva is a free software. Of course, without like everything else, there is a paid version of it. Um, I'll put a link in the description that you can get to. But we're going to look at Canva today. And with Canva, I've already signed in here. Canva allows you to be able to create graphics. Um, so go ahead, sign up for a free account. Um, say it's for personal use. Um, and you're, you're free to use all these things. So what we're gonna do today is, we're gonna create a, a green background. So like we, if we were using green screen, um, we're gonna use a green background. We are going to um, put the text that we want on that green background, and then we're gonna hide the green background using iMovie, so that we can show whatever text we want across whatever video we want. Now I'm gonna do just a quick example here. We're not gonna to go through too much. You'll be able to elaborate on it and maybe use more technical things on it. We're just gonna do a quick bit of text, just to show you the possibilities that you do have. So the first thing we do is I have iMovie open, and I just have a sample video here here that we created in one of the earlier courses. So it's just a um, sample videos there that we, we have in, not, nothing major, nothing too mad. Now these videos are 1920 by 1080, so they're 1080 HD videos. Um, if you are using 4K videos, you would need to make the canvas or the Canva that we're gonna create 4K size. So I'll show you how to find that out now in a second. Um, and if you were using 720, HD video, you would want to make sure that your canvas is that right size too. So depending on what you're using, if you're using 720 HD, you'd want to make sure it's a 720, so 1280 by 720 pixels. If you're using um, a 1080 HD video, which we are going to use here, it's just easier to work within the 4K. Um, if you're using the, the 1080 HD videos, you want to make sure that your canvas um, that we're going to put this writing on is going to be 1920 by 1080 so 1920 pixels by 1080 so it's it's 1920 small dots um, across the way and then 1080 dots right the way down um, okay and then obviously if, if it's 4k we use the appropriate size for 4k so we have that movie ready in the background so this is just like you would do if you created a, a movie or like we do in the course so I've Canva open, like I said, and I've signed in here. I'm just gonna go full screen so you might be able to see that that wee bit better um, for it. I'm gonna open a new tab up at the top, and what we're just gonna do here is I'm just gonna type in 4K size, just so you can see the size that you would need for 4K. So you can see there, uh, 3840 by 2160 pixels. So that's the size you would go for. If it was 1080 that we're dealing with, which is 1080, we put it in and you'll see it'll say 1920 by 1080. So that's what we're gonna go for in this tutorial. Obviously, depending on what you're doing, you would do them different, okay? So I'm gonna close out of that wee tab. I'm gonna go back. And when you get into Canva, you can use all the pre-built things that they have. So it's great for um, it's great for doing up. I use it for making all my, you know, my social media stuff. Like I'm just after doing ones for um, you'll see down here if I zoom in just to, to show you. So I'm just after doing a small video um, just about the Safari settings on iPhone. I might do maybe a, a YouTube um, thumbnail for maybe one of the courses. You can see there it's just a one of my things that I use. Um, this is another one, how to use a secondary display. So I would use it for creating any quick graphics. What I like about it is um, you can use it on your phone. So you can just whip out the phone wherever you are, um, change your graphics, and as you start creating things, you'll be able to edit the ones that you pre previously created. So this one that I have here, the how to use an iPad as a second screen. If I get to a stage that I have another Mac one, maybe this one here, I can quickly go in and just change that text and use the same background image. So it is good for anyone that wants to create that type of thing. Of course, you can pay for it. Um, I'm on the free version here. 
um, but you can pay to get more functionality with it and you can create things like brand kits and that it's, it's quite um, easy or quite good to, to have so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to go to create design now when you go to create design it's going to give you all presentations Instagram post your story Instagram story and so on we are going to go and we're going to go to custom size so it's down here at the bottom and it says custom size I'm going to click on it and it's going to give us the width and the height and you can see it's showing us there in pixels I'm going to zoom in just in case you can't see that it might be someone watching it on a phone so there we have the width of the height and from earlier on we know that we want 1920 by 1080 so we put in 1920 and the height we're going to put in 1080 so it's 1920 by 1080 now you can go down here and you can click on I'm after scrolling up 1080 okay now what you can do now is you can go down and if you wanted to you could create a video a presentation or whatever it is so I'm just going to create a presentation for this quick purpose if, if you wanted the the text to be moving or if you wanted it to do different things obviously you can create a, a video but we just want this one presentation okay so we're going to click on the presentation it opens up there you can see it has just a, a plain background there and what we're going to do the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my background to green so I'm just going to click on the background color up at the top here and I'm going to take a green color so there's my my green background now so you can see straight away it looks like it's a green screen if anyone has seen any of the the movies do look at one of the other tutorials there about green screen and you'll be able to see exactly what it is the next thing we want is on the left hand side here we want text now you can see straight away we have all this different type of text now some of them are free and you can see it says the word free on it and so on where some of them are the pro versions so this is where you would have to pay for it if you wanted some of them other taxes other text but usually you will have the ones that you want now obviously you can't pick green uh, text because you're going to um, you're going to be using the um, the green screen and it would take the bottom of it out but I can pick this anyone at all I just picked this huge sale so I'm going to click on it and you can see we can do all things like we can make it bigger or smaller like you would so straight away we're way ahead of iMovie because iMovie would only let us put it here or there or wherever we can also move it around the screen and place it wherever we want so again it's a plus on iMovie and then we can also change the, the text so you can see that these are two separate boxes here that we have so if we want to change the text I'm going to change to so the first one. I'm going to take this huge out. I'm just going to take huge out. I'm going to put in here Apple because we have the new website I have is Apple Courses. And I'm going to undo that a second because it seems to want to go under. Um, I'm going to make that a wee bit bigger first. Okay. And then we have Apple Courses. Of course, you can change the size of that. Um, you can change the size of the text to whatever you want. I'll show you that now. So Apple Courses, and you could put .ie or whatever you wanted. I'm going to change the size of these down. So you can see it's 207 at the minute. I'm going to put it down to maybe 40 or 50 because it's it's very big. Okay, 60. I'll put this one the same. Okay. Okay. So once we get it down, we can play with it. Then we can make it that wee bit bigger okay once we have it that wee bit bigger then what we can do is we can do whatever we want whether we can change it we can put it wherever we want we can change the color of it okay to maybe a color that suits me I, I'm gonna put it in pink just so you can actually see it from the background whenever we do it so we have the, the colors in, in pink there I'm gonna make them text a wee bit bigger because I do want them to stand out whenever we do it maybe 120 might work for me okay Okay, there's the two of them now and you can position them wherever you want and you can do whatever you want with it and do it so the main thing is now that we have our text in there okay and once we have our text where we want it what we can do then is we can go and we can download okay now we can add other things if you want you can put uh, photos in if you want it or you can put different things if you want to put shapes in you can see there's different shapes in maybe sunglasses and things like that or whatever you want to do we go to download it now it's downloaded as a PDF but we just click it here and I'm going to download it as a JPEG so 
So you can see it puts it straight in as a JPEG then, and we go to download. Now once we download, it's going to go down to our downloads folder, okay? So it'll be in our downloads folder. It opens up there as a preview. So we then go to iMovie. So iMovie is back here. Once we go to iMovie, we want to import the media like we have done in previous lectures. So we go to import media. I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder. I'll go back to my downloads folder here. And I'll just put it by the content the day it was created. It's way back. Okay, so you can see there it is there. We have the applecourses.ie. It has the green background. I'm gonna import the selected. So it allows me to import that video or that picture into my background. Now I'm gonna put it across this bit of text here or this bit of video here. So I click that video and I'm gonna drag it down. I'm gonna place it above it. Now again, we will go over green screen now, but if you want to learn more about the green screen, go back and into my channel and look at one of the other videos. So you can see there, we now have this Apple courses. We have um, our green background, a very simple what we did. At the minute it's set as cut away. So what's gonna happen is if I play it through, I'm just gonna show you, you'll see it in the preview up at the top there. It cuts away to that green background. Okay, and then it goes back over. So what we want to do is we want to click this um, this green screen that we have or this green picture that we have, and we want to go up here to the cutaway options. So this option up here at the very top right hand corner, we have the video overlay settings, and it says cutaway at the minute. We want to click in the cutaway and we want to tell it that it's a green or a blue screen. So we click on it, and what it does straight away then is it removes the green from it, and now it just has the text on it. So I'm just gonna go back a wee bit on my video. I'm gonna play the video through and you'll see it going through. And you'll see my pink writing coming up there. So that's already something that you can't do. Now it goes on, it's probably a wee bit short, but you, you could play it. You're already something that you can't do with iMovie because with iMovie, you're limited to the titles that you have here. So you're limited to the the ones that we want okay if you wanted to do something a wee bit more um adventurous so it, it's gonna keep trying um it will keep trying to come up and um give you the options of buying or selecting it okay so i'm going to delete the text that we have here and again once you have this um i just need to click on the outside there once you have the content created so this green background created it means that you can keep going back in and you can keep using that so you can go through it and you can upload things or you can use different things that you want you can put in um backgrounds videos anything you want um i'm not sure if these graphics actually move but just say if you wanted to do one of these graphics that you have here you could position that in the corner so you could have that graphic there, and again, you would just save the graphic. It tries to save it as a PDF because it thinks that it is a um, presentation that we're doing. We just need to tell it that it's a JPEG that we want to download. So JPEG is, is a picture file. We click on download. So it's downloading again. You can see it opens it up there now, and then we go and we put it into our iMovie. So we have iMovie here. We go to the movie that you have and we want to import that other wee bit of text so again content created i just want to give it a chance to come on so there we have that video there so you can see it's your picture there with your green background we go to import the selected and we pull it down i'm going to remove that green screen that we put in earlier so i just clicked on it and press delete i'm going to pull this one down over here and you can see that we have that um that small graphic there when i play it across now um, again, I keep going back to the old lectures. Um, when you put a picture into iMovie, it's gonna do what's used the Ken Burns effect, it's called. So it's gonna try and zoom in on elements within that picture. Um, we can take that off later on, but you'll see it, the, the picture will, will move. So at the minute, it's it still has cut away, so we have to tell it, it it's a green screen. So we click on the picture. We go up to the overlay options or the video overlay options up at the very top right there. 
we go to cut away and we click on green blue screen and you can see straight away it now has that you can see the the kiss icon there so this might be good if you want to do anything you know kind of quirky or you want to add something to your video that other people maybe can't do in iMovie so we play this through now you'll see that it goes in it shows up that wee thing you can see that the hearts actually growing there now because it's it's doing what's called Ken Burns and what Ken Burns is if I go up here to, I'm going to click on the picture and then I'm going to go up to the cropping options up the very top right hand corner so you can see there's the cropping options there once we go up the cropping options I'm going to click on it now and you'll see at the minute my picture showing me so it's showing us the picture here it's set the Ken Burns and what it's doing is it's starting and ending so we can start it out and maybe end it in big so what it's doing is you can see where to start the start picture is going to be big and the other picture is going to be small it, it's it's easier to show you if you were using actual pictures it's hard enough with these ones here but you'll see what it's going to do now when we click it so you'll see the heart actually gets bigger. So what it does is it goes from the, the smaller side to the, to the big one. So with these things in Canva, you can play about with them and you can manipulate things and put them anywhere on that screen and use it. I just wanted to show you something really simple today. So we're just throwing a wee bit of text on the page. The main thing and the hardest thing there is the green background and making sure that you have the green settings in place. But once you have that done, you can add whatever you want to it, throw it into iMovie and it can then um, it can then remove that green from the background then. Okay. Now, so I hope you've enjoyed that lecture. If you did find value, if you did enjoy it, please do give the thumbs up. It really does help me. And subscribe to the channel because I do try to get a video a week out. And you'll get a notification then when I release any new videos. So I always try to make them helpful for you. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.